Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I have been sent this story several times, but I want to go ahead and shout out to Mon Young. He was one of the first ones to send me this story and once again it's coming out of pitiful ass Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So what's going on is that there's a 16 year old boy named Darren Manning and Darren Manning and a group of his friends, they were coming outside of the subway, they were coming up from the subway and they noticed a police officer staring them down and he admitted that one of his friends said something smart to the police officers and um, the police officers started running towards them and so a lot of his friends friends ran he tried to run too but then he stopped so then what ended up happening is that the police officer started roughing him up and then the female police officer came and basically started patting him down grabbing on his butt grabbing on his private parts and she twisted his testicles so hard that he heard a popping sound she popped his balls I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys a news clip and I will come back with the rest of my commentary on the 16 year old charter school student says he was roughed up by Philadelphia police so bad during a recent arrest it sent him to the hospital with possible injuries that could last a lifetime. We do want to warn you some of the details of this story are graphic. And I'm just grateful that they just didn't kill him. 16 year old Darren Manning is still having trouble walking a week later. He suffered serious injuries to his genitals. He claims came at the hands of a Philadelphia police officer during a recent arrest. I think that was, that was wrong. That was, that was going overboard. Manning, a sophomore at Mathematics, Civics, and Sciences Charter School, just got off the subway with about a dozen teammates in uniform on their way to play a high school basketball game. He says the group was confronted by police at Broad and Girard. Exactly why the students were stopped and questioned remains unclear. But Manning says he was put in handcuffs, then says during a pat down, a female police officer squeezed his genitals so so hard it ruptured his testicle. She patted me down again and then I felt her reach and she grabbed my butt and then she grabbed and squeezed again and pulled down and that's when I heard something pop like I felt it pop. Hospital records show Manning spent the following night of his arrest at Children's Hospital where he underwent emergency surgery. His mother says her son may have permanent injuries preventing him from fathering children. The doctor told me uh, you need to press charges and that just alarmed me. Manning is now facing charges of aggravated assault and resisting arrest. He don't deserve no felony. He's not a bad child. He's not in the streets. I believe he was sexually assaulted. The founder of the school says she was with Manning 10 minutes before the incident. She says this straight A model student hasn't had a single discipline problem in his three year history at the school. They shouldn't be able to do that to any child. But this is a 16 year old and that the force that was used in his private area, it, it, it sort of is concerning to me. Now, police in the 22nd District tell us they are looking into this and a possible internal affairs investigation may be launched in the coming days. But police also tell me that at the eight hours that boy was in custody, he never complained, never reported any injuries. We're live in Spring Garden tonight. Chris O'Connell, Fox 29 News. Okay, so you guys just watched the news clip, and this whole situation is just disturbing. I, for one, am so grateful that this young man is a straight-A student and that he's a good student, not a troublemaker, because had he been a bad kid or a troublemaker or always getting suspended, the news media would probably be trying to play this story, not take it as seriously or ignore the fact, but because he is a good student, he's doing the right thing, he does have a leg to stand on. What the news media is also not reporting is that I have a lot of respect for his mom, Ikea, when the situation first went down, she just didn't believe her son right away. She went back to the area and found witnesses. She asked people exactly what happened because she wanted to make sure that her son was not in the wrong. And then on top of that, Philly.com also went back to the same area and they spoke to several eyewitnesses who collaborated this boy's story and stated that everything that he stated was true, that he did not resist arrest, that he was not hitting on the police officer, that he was not trying to knock out the police officer's radio, and the police were the ones in the wrong 
they handled the situation wrong. Now this young man has to have surgery. He may not be able to have any future kids. You know, this is a smart kid, a straight A student. This is the type of kid that we need out here having children. Not these damn thugs who are out here getting 15 different women pregnant at the same damn time. This is somebody that we need to be a father and to be a good role model to future generations. This whole situation is just insane. And now the police department is saying that, he's that he was resisting arrest. Hell yeah, I'd be resisting arrest too if somebody was fucking squeezing my balls and popping them. I mean, what the hell is wrong with people? It's to the point now where you can't even trust the police. There's so many police officers out here who are abusing their power and they're turning rogue and they're thinking because they have a badge and a gun, they can just do whatever. You know, I talked about this in the whole Florida shooting incident with that ex-cop. And I also spoke about the situation where they beat Kelly, the homeless schizophrenic man, who they beat him to death. Too many police officers are just out here showing out and it makes no damn sense. I feel so bad for this young man and his family. You know, I hope they sue the hell out the police department. They need to have their medical bills paid paid for. Hopefully they'll be able to do some type of surgery so that way he will be able to have children. But this whole situation is just a mess. And again, that's why I say we need a lot more kids out here doing the right thing because when wrong things happen to good people, people take it more seriously. Whereas if this kid was a thug and he was in and out of jail and committing crimes, nobody would care. Nobody would pay any attention. But because he is doing the right thing, he's getting some leeway in the media. So I definitely hope that they end up taking this case to court and suing that police department because this should have never happened. And if this could happen to a straight-A student, this could definitely happen to anybody else walking down the street. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this pitiful-ass situation that's coming out of pitiful-ass Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. All right. Deuces.